Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Can you all hear me? Yes. Oh, good. So I don't have to put on the mic. Yay. My name is Debbie Luna. I am from El Paso Community College, Paso, Texas. Came a long way. In fact, we drove, which is a long way to drive, but it's, it was really cool. Anyway, um, I'm at the, we have five campuses um, at EPCC, and I'm at the smaller campus. What has really helped the smaller campus has been online classes. I give a lot of Blackboard, I, we do a lot of online. Um, and by the way, probably the one that I'm going to show you most is an accounting class. Because I'm really an accountant first before I'm from the IT area. I started working, I got my, I got my accounting um, uh, master's. And I was really teaching that. But because I am at the smaller campus, I needed to teach other classes. And so therefore I went back and I got an IT um, master's. And so I also teach in the IT area. But I am going to show you my Blackboard um, more accounting. I will show you a couple that I've done for IT as well. So I'm basically going to do the one in accounting. So, but it's, just, it's the same tool. You can use the same tools, the same everything. It's just going to be geared toward accounting. So don't, don't, don't be scared. Uh, accounting is OK. I know everybody has this really, oh, it's accounting. Oh my god. Well, that's OK. You guys will be fine. Um, so how many of you all use Blackboard right now? Oh, good. OK. I'm also going to encourage you all to share your best practices, whatever works for you on online. Okay? And I also want to make another comment. I use online, I do online, I do hybrid, and I also do face to face, web enhanced. So everything that they see in whichever you know, modality I'm teaching, they're going to see in the entire thing. What I also do on the face to face, I like this as well. Because I am now trying to flip the classroom. You know, we all hear about the, clip, the flip classroom. And so I'm trying to give them as much information as I can because they do have to take a quiz before they come to class on the first day. On the first day, then I'm going to talk about the topic. I am not using PowerPoint. You know how they talk about PowerPoint. I hardly use PowerPoint. So on the first day, what we do is they're supposed to come in prepared. Did I say supposed to? Yeah, well, OK. So they're supposed to come in prepared, and I basically do more exercises and, and, and you know, doing whatever we need to do rather than sitting down and lecturing. If I find that the topic's a little bit hard, then I may do a little bit of lecture as we're going through the information. But I'm really expecting them to do a lot of their work before they get to me rather than after. Okay? So here we go. What I am going to do also is I have a PowerPoint thing, and you can find it somewhere online, somewhere in La La Land. They have it there for you all. But I'm going to go into my actual Blackboard account. So you can kind of see how it looks and, um, and how I kind of arrange it. Depending on the class, I arrange it a little bit differently. But here we go. OK, so I need to take, bring this up. And again, I'm going to go into my Principles 1 accounting, because that's the one I have probably done more with because I've played around with it a lot, lot more. Um, at the very beginning, I always put some type of a picture at the very beginning. So it's pretty loud. I do a lot of loud stuff. And then I always put the classroom that, I'm, that that is for because I have so many that I get confused. I'm sitting there tapping. I'm trying to find exactly which classroom it is. On my welcome page, what I normally do on my welcome page, again, I do have a lot of information. I have a lot of pictures for the students. I try to make it as bright as possible. I have here um, my syllabus calendar and other important stuff that they need to know about. So of course that's just kind of standard. We all have to do that. Everybody has to show that in there. Um, and then I always link to whatever homework manager I'm using. So depending on whether it's accounting or it's going to be like in the IT, it'll be SAM or, well SAM doesn't connect right now, but it should, right? Um, my Cengage people, yes, yes, I'm so happy about that. Um, I use CourseMate as well, and so right now CourseMate is connecting. I'm able to connect that, so that's really awesome. So depending on the hom homework manager that I'm using, then I'll link to that. Okay, back to my home page. Other things I have in there, okay. Um, on the first day of class, and let's see if this works, it's supposed to. Um, I have a, I use a lot of Go Animate. Has anybody ever used Go Animate? Yeah? Okay. Um, let's see if it comes up. 
I usually introduce, uh, it's not going where I wanted to go. I knew that was going to happen. But anyway, on Go Animate, what I do there, maybe it's this one. That's better. Okay. Um, like, for example, here, it is on, under Go Animate, you have, a, um, you have people that can dialogue back and forth to each other. It's just not one person. So here, that's me. I can make me out to be wh to whatever I want. So that's me. And this is basically the first day of class. So I am talking to my students through me. This is my avatar. And here, I introduce, I say, welcome, who I am. And then I have the students ask me the typical first day questions. And remember, this is for the online that don't have the typical first day questions unless they, and it's not coming out. Um, let me see. Let me try this. See if that helps. Yeah. The accounting information covered is prepared by the in-house accountant. Hi, Mrs. Luna. I understand that this is a very exciting and informative class. Not that I know of. That's a real good question. Not that I know of. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good question. They, I don't know if they can see the script because I do write out the script. Okay, that's a really good question. I hadn't thought about that. So anyway, I go through. Yes. You can record it if you want, or you can have somebody reading the script. And, and then you can come up with the different, you know, different people, um, different accents. You know, you want the British accent, you, you know, a different, you can have that. Or you can, again, you can record it yourself. I usually have somebody else do it for me. I just type it out. Okay. But anyway, and so I'm, I'm dialoguing here with the students. So that's a really nice way to open it up. I also have another one here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this down. It is best to email me at my school email. I okay, so I'm going to close that one down. I'm going to go back to my, oh, I'm, I'm here. I have another one where cheating is not tolerated, okay? And what horrible things happen when you cheat. This one here is between two students. Um, the guy had partied all night, okay? So you can kind of see how he doesn't look like he's done his homework versus the girl who has. And so I put down um, my cheating policies in this dialogue between the two students. And, you know, I'll just show it just a bit. But she comes out of the car, you can tell that, uh, and it's really cool because you can show expressions. See, he's tired. He has a tired face. And then in a minute, she's going to tell him no, and he's going to have this angry face to him. So, and it doesn't, you know, it's go animate. It, you just have to come up with your... Um, with your own account, it's free, which is all very, very nice. Yeah, you can pay some more, and they give you a couple more scenes, and they could do a couple more things. But this has been pretty good. See, he's angry now because she's not letting him uh, copy from her work. Okay. So anyway, so that's that's the go animate that I use um, as an introduction to my students. Whoops, this is what I want to do. Okay, so that's the first one. And then what I also do, and I'll show you different ones that I have in here. Um, I also have, like, say, different things from, this is a job interview. Um, so I do a lot of YouTube stuff. I put di just different things of YouTube that is going to talk about. Now, this is just, this is a rap song, you know, and the raps are really hilarious, but it takes them through what's going to happen on an interview, Okay. And in accounting, at the end of the day, that's what we want them to do. Okay? So it's their thing. I, that's not the music I listen to, by the way. Just, <laughs> yeah. Did I write the rap? I have one in there that was a professor who did it, which is hilarious, and he did it in front of his class. I'll show it to you. It's totally hilarious. It's on debits and credits. And it, the whole class is there, and they think it's, no, no, but I, no, I can't rap. Or can I sing? Okay. So I'm going to stop this. So there we go. Okay. So I just, just bring this up for some of the students. All right. Now, I have them grouped, my accounting classes anyway, I have them grouped as, um, test, as test one, test two, test three, whatever. That's how I have it grouped there. Okay. Um, this has been a really nice one because if, you, if you've been in an accounting class, we, the first four chapters or three chapters are the accounting cycle. 
And so this is everything that I'm going to be going through. So they kind of get a, a, an idea of what exactly is going to happen. There's a couple of steps, like for instance, this one we don't do. But everything else is the, in, is the accounting cycle. So you're going to hear a lot about that. I use this other animation called Vokies. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Vokies. Um, a Vokie, though, is only one person. Anybody use Vokies? Yes? OK, a few more of you. This is um, www.vokey.com. And this is only one person, though. This is only one person. I'm going to fall. This is only one person that is talking. And you pick different avatars. Um, that is not, that could kind of look like how I look in the morning when I get up. Uh, but anyway, so I have different avatars. And what I do with that one is I just tell the students very, very briefly, and less than, you know, whatever, I tell them very briefly, and look at this. She, oh, not right now. Test one will include chapters one, two, three, all of the homework, quizzes, and practice will be found in this folder. The last item is the test for these chapters. Please let me know if you have any questions. That just gives them just really fast information. You can put anything you want there. Um, I have a couple that I did for like my final project. And I tell them what the final project's going to be and how I want for them to do the final project. And I think they'll listen to her a lot more than they'll listen to me. OK? And this is cool. Watch. Check this out. <laughs> I'm sorry. But every time I see a Volky, I have to play with her eyes. Sorry. Sorry. Um, again, I have all of my homework and exercises in one, um, in one folder. And so I put everything in there. Um, there's chapter one, two, and three. All of the different exercises and, and quizzes and everything that I want for them to do, I have them in there by chapter. And so they don't have, um, well, they still can't find it. But they shouldn't have any problems as far as finding. Yes? Sorry, when you told us something that's um, animated or oral, you would post also something that you that's what she was saying. You know, I don't, and I should. You're right. You're absolutely right, I should. And, and I have it anyway. It, it, it's possible because I have it all in text. I had to type it out. And so that would be real easy to put a script in there um, for that reason. You are so right. Both of you are so right on that. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> I do. I do so many illegal things, you know. That's not one of the biggest ones. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I think so, because I hate the talking head. I myself don't like a talking head. And I always do this. I don't like a talking head. And so video is just kind of outside the box, which I normally try to be and am, is I'm, I really do things outside the box with the students. So, and when they first see this, that's the first thing, that's one of them, that's the first thing they see, they think it's totally hilarious. And it kind of breaks the ice. It's kind of an icebreaker as well. One more question. Sure. Your student population, one of my classes, I have traditionally non-traditional Probably. Um, at my campus, well, at my campus, at, when I do a face-to-face, -face, we tend to have the younger students, the more traditional. Um, right. The older students I have pretty much online, but I haven't heard a lot of bad comments. So, you know, yeah. And, and yeah, so I think if they really didn't like it, I'm sure I'd hear about it. But they're okay with it. They seem to be okay. I, I've done fine. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, I, and I think I'm just trying to capture their attention. I'm trying to bring them into the class, especially at the very beginning. Um, because when I, you know, I have evolved, and this has been a huge evolution. Um, I remember my first few classes was PowerPoint, homework, tests. Very boring. And I see a lot of people still in that mode. And so I'm just kind of trying to change it and just bring them in and, and, and as quickly as I can. OK. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. We went down. Maybe that's because I went down. I hope it comes back up. Did it? Yes, it did. And so anyway, so I have all of my homework and exercises. This is going to be for the, first quiz, for the first test, and so I have them there. OK. A couple more things that I have in here um, is um, the, well, I have the Volki. I do put all the PowerPoint presentations. 
um, these are the ones that Cengage or you know whoever we're using. Then I put all the presentations for that particular chapter because since I am doing an online class, then I want to give them that information. I also talked about the flip class. A lot of the students read the chapter. They'll find the, the fastest, quickest way to get through the information to take their quiz. And so many of them will open up the PowerPoint and just kind of thumb through it, okay, until they hopefully find the answer to whatever question that they're answering. So I do put all the PowerPoint presentations. I don't normally use them, though. I don't normally use the PowerPoints. I mean, you know, like they say, PowerPoint by death, and he said something else about that. I, I really do agree with it. Um, so I'm not really using them unless, no, hardly. Hardly anymore. I'm not. Okay. So then after that, um, what else do I have in here? I have any videos that the publisher has also given us. There's, you know, sometimes there's different business videos that they have in there. And so I will go ahead and put them in there so that they can see any of the business videos. Sometimes I may even ask them a question. Please go to video such and such and look at it and comment on them. That may be part of their homework. And so some of the videos that, that we get are pretty good. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them I really like. And I also have to consider, especially like there's certain things that we, we have so much to do in the classroom and we have so much to cover. There are some things we don't have time for, like internal controls, for example, in accounting. I think it's so important, but I'm, since I'm doing debits and credits so much, it's hard for me to get into internal controls. And so usually I'll put something out there for that, for just that. Okay? Any other, any questions? No? Are we good? Okay. Okay. So, um, let me go back. Come on in. Um, and then I call this just fun stuff. If they want to check it out, cool, cool. Um, here I'm going to have a presentation on Prezi. Anybody do Prezi's? Yes, Prezi's are so cool. Let me see if I can open it up right now. I haven't opened it up. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like it's going, but the Prezi's are really nice because they're not linear like, like the PowerPoints and they just kind of go all over the place. And the students are, are starting to use them more. In fact, they, I have presentations as well. So when they use a Prezi, it looks really cool because they're not just going screen, you know, slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four. They're all over the charts. And they have more fun doing it. So again, we go back to the fun factor in that they get into a Prezi a lot more. And I'll give them a small thing on Prezi's and how to use it and how to set up and stuff. Um, but it's, it's, I like it. I like the Prezi's. This is what happens when accounting professors get bored, okay? This is one, um, and this Professor Dois, or whatever his name, I don't know. He actually, I'll just show this to you a couple seconds. He actually, he himself did a rap on, um, on accounting. Okay. What? So you can tell this is in the classroom. Okay, well anyway, so you get it. Now, since I am not going to do a rap video, I'm going to use his. Sorry, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> 